Falcons Elijah, I'm Austin Stringer, and today you are watching a wonderful unboxing and preview of the VKB T Rudder Mark IV. I just got this for my birthday, so I'm really, really excited about this. My wife is wonderful and knew exactly what I wanted, uh, so let's go ahead and dig into it. Uh, as you guys know, I've been using Logitech Pro Rudders for some time, and they are terrible. I'm not going to do a review on them because look, I, I don't want to just do a review where I crap on some product because that's all I would do with them. So if you want a recommendation, don't buy them. So let's move on. Let's get this open and see what they're all about. As usual, VKB packing is wonderful. This actually came out in another bag that was taped and everything like that. Um, which is typical and box in box, just like uh, VKB usually does. So let's get this box out of the other box. And then, whoop. Discard. All right. Got a bag here. So let us open this up. Make a whole bunch of great noises for the camera, the mic to pick up. Pardon the squeaky chair. Oh, this is just a reason to buy it. This is the official rudders of DCS, right there. <laughs> All right, so the packaging is actually pretty cool. It's got a T38 Talon or F5E. I think that's a T38. I'm sure there'll be somebody in the uh, comments that will correct me here. So let's get all this stuff out. We've got the instructions. We've got some packing, which I hold on to this stuff for various reasons. For example, if, if I end up having to sell something or send something back, I like to have that. This is a network cable. I believe that's to connect to the black box. Some tools, which we won't really be using many of these tools because I've got some better ones over here. We've got our USB cable, and this one actually comes with a black box. Now, black box I am not going to use yet because I have a black box. So I'm going to pack this up. The good thing is, is that let's say there comes a time when I need to sell my gunfighter to get something newer or something like that, which could happen. You know, it, it's tough to say then at least I'll have a black box to use my rudders because these things are really, really good from what I've heard. So we're going to set that out of the way. We're going to get these out and dispose of that box just to give ourselves some more room. There we are. We'll take off the foamies. I just realized that these are going to go. No, well, they're going to go this way. I'm sorry. I was not looking at these properly. These are for your heels here. Be gone. Okay. All right. So it looks like we've got these look like heim joints, which is great. Heim joints are good. And I'm also going to be doing a small amount of exploration because I am going to make some dampers for these. And so I was really curious exactly how these function. The dampers that I've seen built, and, and I'm not going to claim this is an original idea because it's not. The dampers that I've seen built before actually went here and they replaced this black spacer right there and then they clamped down like that. And I'm considering making a 3D printed one and providing it for free. I mean, the, the, the 3D printing files for free because I like dampening as you are probably all aware. So let's take a look at the instructions. They look very simple here because really you can already see that there's a couple of things that we're missing here. And it looks like that's just telling us to connect those. Yep. 
It looks to be so. So we'll put this aside. I'm not going to cover up my wonderful Utah Falconers Association sticker. Quick shout out to Tuesday from the VKB and Hotas Hosas Simpit Discords. The t redder documentation still calls out to the Wizzo software. VKB now uses the VKB Dev CFG software. So if you're setting up your pedals, use the new software. Uh, we'll open up our tool bag here. Comes with a bag of a couple of screws. Those could be spares. We'll find out. Uh, comes with some Allen wrenches here. The Allen wrenches I'm not going to be using because I have one of these things. Thanks, by the way, uh, Monster Tech. We'll put those aside. These things are awesome. If you don't have a set of these, get them. That looks like a brace of some sort. Probably cable. Looks like cable management. All right, so let's get these things put on. We will remove these nuts here. Take these heim joints, put them over here. And I'm sure that we're going to want to ensure, make sure that these are a similar extension for each other because you don't want to have them even. These are really high quality joints. The nice thing about, about Heim joints like these is that they I don't have a lot of clicking because they're tight. They look to be about the same height already. We're gonna leave them as such for right now. I'm not gonna go with high force because I actually want to use these for helicopters. And yeah, I wanna keep those the force kind of low. So we will tighten this down. Not exactly the best tools, but I didn't have my open-ended wrenches in here. They're out in the shed. So, the great thing here that I've noticed so far is the build quality is really quite good. There we are. I don't want to over tighten. Okay, well, let's take a close look at them. Inside here, you may not be able to see it, but there it looks to be a cam. And that cam is going to determine what the feedback is on this. And then Looks like we have a spring on the a spring on the other end. During the full review, I'll take this apart and get a close look at it. But for the uh, preview, I don't think that that's really necessary. Uh, but that really is all there is to getting it put together. Um, the way that this is going to work is that this network cable is going to connect in right here, and then that is going to go and plug into the back of the black box, which is on my gunfighter. So it's gonna be very similar. So with that, let's go and check out a little bit of flying. Yes. In this first video, this is actually with the Logitech Pro pedals. Since I haven't used a ton of different pedals yet, I didn't realize how bad these pedals were. I can't think of anything that will show how much of an improvement the VKB T rudders are than to show you the same thing on both sets of pedals. You saw that there was a bit of yaw taking off, which is normal, but having smooth rudders makes for a much easier transition into stable flight. As we approach the carrier, we bleed off some speed, knowing that as I approach to a hover, it becomes a little less easy to manage with those pedals, so I chose to land with some forward momentum, so not too bad.
the Logitech pedals have some hitching locations in the span of their movement. And right here it hits one of those hitches and I push through it and it actually makes things worse. I've disassembled these pedals, greased them thoroughly, and the issue wasn't improved. I've even ran them without springs hoping to improve things, but that didn't help either. These pedals aren't that old, so they don't have that much use. Now we do it with the VKB T rudder setup. Keep in mind that this T rudder setup is a mid-range solution, not a high-end one. But the axis is completely smooth using steel ball bearings, not plastic wheels riding in plastic channels like Logitech pedals. It makes all the difference in the world. So in this one I choose to do a more traditional approach that I've seen other people use where they approach the boat, get parallel, and then drift over into the position they want to land in and then land vertically. And touchdown. Much better control coming into the hover and putting down. Now we take off, nice and smooth. Now we're gonna land on this boat here. Keep in mind that the pedals don't correct my shortcomings as a pilot, but it was still smooth and the control was really good.
So, for the first impressions it's pretty simple. This setup is a huge improvement over budget pedals like the Logitech Pro pedals or CH pedals, or also the Thrustmaster low-end pedals, fixing a problem that I didn't even know the extent of. The reason I used helicopter footage for this first impressions wasn't just that I enjoy Rotorcraft and DCS, it's that pedals are of critical importance when it comes to helicopters. I can't even explain how much better it was to fly with pedals that had smooth movement, accurate sensors. It's just a huge difference. I really look forward to using the heck out of these things in the next month to give you all a thorough review. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make and I'm really enjoying the pedals. I hope to be doing a lot more of these videos for you in the future. I have another unboxing initial impressions video of the HP Reverb G2 coming soon. It's a great time for Falcon's Ledge and we hope you have a happy new year. Fly safe, have fun, and as always, have a great day.